Dear students, in the last module, we studied about the roots of elimination. After studying this module, you will be able to know about the significance of drug abuse, the crimes related to drug abuse and some case studies related to drug abuse. First, introduction. In 1969, WHO Committee on Drug Dependence defined drug as a substance which when taken into a living organism may modify one aspect of its function. Drug abuse and misuse are unsatisfactory concepts because these terms implicate valued judgment. They are difficult to describe in such a manner that they are appropriate for different drugs in different situations. Drug addiction is a state of mind and body in which a person has lost the power of self-control in respect of the drug which he is habituated. Certain narcotics do inhibit the power of discrimination and judgment. For example, alcohol and cannabis make a man frantic and he may commit crime which he would not commit if he was not under the influence of the drug. It is supposed that these drugs may promote criminal activities but this happens in those persons who are mostly criminals but their criminality has been kept under the check by social influence. Some recent drugs like LSD and fencyclidin give hallucinations to the addict and he loses sense or judgment of time, of space and of human values. He commits crime conforming to the old idea of drugs promoting crime. Cases related to drug misuse or abuses are mainly of accidental in nature. Mostly the deaths occur due to accidental overdose of drugs. Besides, some cases involve synergistic effects of drugs to present fatal effects. However, homicidal uses of drugs have also been reported in the stupefaction or forced illegal abortion cases. The WHO estimates that one third of the world population abuses tobacco in some form or the other. Currently, tobacco abuse is said to be responsible for 3.5 million deaths worldwide every year. And if the trend continues, the figure is expected to rise to 10 million deaths per year by 2020. The most commonly abused drugs apart from alcohol and tobacco in India appear to be cannabis, opiates and sedatives and tranquilizers. There are also indications of significant abuse of cocaine, hallucinogens and designer drugs among the upper classes of society. Clinicians and research workers can often manage without using the terms such as unsanctioned, hazardous, dysfunctional or harmful use as they are concerned more about the effects of drugs and their route of administration. Now we shall deal with some of the case studies. First is case number one. A young doctor was found dead in a hotel room of a metropolitan city with no marked injuries except few prick marks present on the hands of the deceased. The investigating officer found the door and windows locked from inside which ruled out the possibility homicide. Inside the room, police recovered a disposable syringe and an empty ampule of a drug which was later on chemical examination discovered to be from the barbiturate group. The post-mortem examination revealed that the doctor died due to drug overdose of a specific barbiturate. Further investigation revealed that the doctor was regularly using sedatives for pure pleasure and to avoid the work stress. Case number two. In a case where a female postgraduate medical student committed suicide by injecting some chemical intravenously leaving the question before the investigating officer was the nature of the chemical used. Initially, the investigating officer 
believed that the chemical might be some poisonous chemical which caused the death of the female doctor. The viscera was preserved and sent to the forensic science laboratory for chemical analysis. The viscera were then subjected to various preliminary as well as certain confirmatory tests. The results revealed the presence of a barbituric acid in the viscera extract. Barbituric acid is often selected for the purpose of suicide due to its sedative effect. Later on, it was discovered during investigation that the student was under pressure due to her poor performance in the examination. Case number three, a famous artist found dead in his car without any signs of struggle. No drugs or poisons were discovered from the scene of crime to ascertain if it was a suicide. Neither any external marks or physical scuffle marks were present which could have linked to the possibility of homicide. During the investigation, the investigating officer came to know from the wife of the deceased that he was under the treatment of some mental ailments and consuming medicine of benzodiazepine class of drug. On chemical examination of the viscera, a different class of drug was discovered along with benzodiazepine drug. The postmortem as well as the chemical analysis of viscera substantiated the information and the inference was drawn that the artist died due to drug overdose and its combined effect with other incompatible drug. Case number four, the famous pop star Michael Jackson is alleged to have died due to an overdose of propofol that was being administered to him by his personal physician to help him sleep since he suffered from severe insomnia. According to some reports, at the time of Jackson's demise, his prescribing doctor began injecting the sedative drugs like lorazepam and diazepam and midazolam injection intravenously. When they failed to make Michael fall asleep, the doctor added propofol, which allegedly caused the death of Michael Jackson. Propofol has become one of the drugs of choice used to sedate patients. The more sedation, the more likely the patient will stop breathing. The issue with propofol is that it can make the patient's brain forget to breathe. Case number five. One of the most famous cases during this period concerned memorable Hollywood actress Marilyn Monroe who at the end of a short passionate career became despairingly addicted to alcohol and barbiturates. In 1962, at the age of 36, Marilyn Monroe was found dead at home resulting overdose of barbiturates. The toxicological analysis concluded that the cause of death was acute barbiturate poisoning as she had chloral hydrate and phenobarbital in her blood and a further pentobarbital in her liver. Empty ampules containing these medicines were found next to her bed by the police. The possibility of Monroe having accidentally overdosed was ruled out as the dosages found in her body were several times higher over the lethal limit. Her doctors and psychiatrists stated that she had been prone to severe fears and frequent depressions with abrupt and unpredictable mood changes and had overdosed several times in the past, possibly intentionally. Case number six, in the security checking counter of an international airport, security personnel scanned a suspected passenger and recovered some capsules containing some powder. He took a plea that the chemical was methylene dioxy methamphetamine, that is MDMA, and he is authorized to carry it legally. He also presented an authority letter to substantiate his version. However, the chemical was sent to the laboratory where it was revealed that the chemical was paramethoxyamphetamine, a ring substituted amphetamine, methoxylated phen. Ethylamine derivative. 
which has been fraudulently marketed as methylene dioxy methamphetamine and has caused several deaths and thus the culprit was prosecuted for drug trafficking and other appropriate sanctions. Case 7. Famous Indian actor, director and producer Gurudath have allegedly died due to incompatible combination of alcohol and sleeping pills. Gurudath was found dead in his apartment. He is said to have been mixing alcohol and sleeping pills. His death may have been suicide or just an accidental overdose which was however not determined by the police. Case number 8. A teenager girl of a reputed college was found dead near a state highway with no clothes on her body. Her genital parts were having some secretions which were examined by the forensic laboratory as found to be semen. The post-mortem report revealed that there was no forceful assault upon the genitals of the girl, but the cause of death was strangulation. The viscera of the deceased was subjected to chemical analysis and a huge amount of raffinol was detected in the blood. According to the acquaintances, the girl was last seen with her male friend in a rave party from where they left late night. The boy was detained and interrogated by the police where he confessed that he drugged the girl with raffinol before committing the heinous acts. He killed the girl because he was afraid of being caught. Raffinol or rufies is a flunitrazapam which is capable of causing retrograde amnesia. Flunitrazapam has become popular as a drug of abuse often combined with alcohol, marijuana or cocaine to produce an intense high. It has been used as a date rape drug both for its properties of lowering inhibitions and because it can cause retrograde amnesia. Case number 9. In a rural area of Uttar Pradesh, a boy of 4 years was hospitalized due to multiple symptoms including tachycardia, hyperreflexia, convulsions and respiratory depression. He passed away on the same evening due to multiple organ failure and respiratory seizure. The symptoms indicated to some kind of poisoning. The family members alleged the neighbors as they were having bad terms with them. Post-mortem was conducted and the doctors found partially digested the Tura seeds inside the stomach of the child. Later investigations revealed that the boy was playing with the fellow children and out of curiosity he swallowed the dhatura seeds which they plucked from the nearby shrub as a playing article. Case number 10. A young second year MBA student was found in the hostel of an institute. Police recovered some marijuana cigarettes from the cupboard. An empty bottle of country-made liquor was also recovered under the bed. Post-mortem and chemical analysis revealed that the cause of death was the result of combined effect of high dose of marijuana and its consumption with alcohol. Later, friend of the deceased told the police that the deceased was an alcoholic as well as a hardcore drug addict. Case 11. A newcomer actress of television industry committed suicide in her apartment by hanging herself. She allegedly left a suicide note in which she mentioned that she feels godly appearances around her and her dead mother asked her to join her in the heavens. Investigation revealed that the actress was though religious and has a faith on spirits and ghosts. Her flatmate told police that the actress very often used to talk alone to nobody and stare in blank and many times acted as if she is possessed. The post-mortem and chemical analysis revealed the presence of hallucinogenic drugs in her blood. Hallucinogens are substances that induce changes in thought, perception and mood without causing major disturbances in the autonomic nervous system.
perceptual alterations can take the form of illusions, synesthesias, or hallucinations. An illusion is the result of misinterpretation of an actual experience, while synesthesias are sensory misperception. Case 12. An NGO working for children saved some children from a railway station. Some of them were suffering from cerebral dysfunctioning, renal failure, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, dementia and other neurobehavioral syndromes like memory loss, anxiety, depression, sleep disorders, neurethanasia and personality changes. Medical examination of these children revealed that they were the addict of glue sniffing and exposed to long-term use of various inhalants. Inhalant drugs are volatile substances which are widely available and frequently abused, especially by adolescents from poor socioeconomic background. These substances are mostly volatile hydrocarbons which are used as solvents, propellants, thinners and fuels. The hydrocarbon is typically inhaled by pouring into a container for sniffing, a rag or sock for huffing or a plastic or paper bag for bagging. Abusers often begin with sniffing, lower concentrations and progress subsequently to huffing and bagging, higher levels of exposure. Case number 13, in a joint operation of narcotics department and customs, a consignment of some suspected white powder was seized. The investigating agency also arrested few person with the consignment. The accused person alleged that the powder is talc and not a drug. As per the procedure, the investigating agency sent some samples to the forensic science laboratory to check the identity of the seized article. The result was found to be cocaine hydrochloride, that is the snorting cocaine. The accused were accordingly prosecuted for the illegal trafficking of drugs. Case number 14. In another interesting case, an assistant sub-inspector of police and two constables arrested a hawker with the charge of possession of cocaine. The accusation was challenged in the court as no chemical analysis was performed to ascertain the identity of the powder which was alleged to be cocaine. And the charges are false and fabricated. The court accordingly ordered the district superintendent of police to investigate the matter as there was an involvement of police officers. Upon the chemical examination of the alleged powder, it was revealed that the alleged cocaine was not other than common salt. The police officers framed the hawker to settle their personal scores. The court acquitted the hawker with compensation and punished the culprits for criminal conspiracy. Case 15, a famous liquor shop in a city was raided on a complaint of adulteration of liquor. Samples were seized and sent to the forensic laboratory for examination. Examination revealed that many of the bottles having marks and labels of company made liquors are having high methanol concentrations. On interrogation of the owner, he confessed that in order to earn more, he started adulterating company made liquors with country made liquors and methanol. He was arrested and convicted accordingly. We shall end this module with summary. Drug abuse is a major problem for the society, not only in India, but also in the whole world. The legal administration is facing challenge due to high rise of illegal drug trafficking. Drug abuse is a worldwide phenomena because of its harmful effects on the health and morale of the individual 
and society at large. Misuse of drugs have become part of the modern life in order to obtain kicks, thrills, excitement and escaping from day-to-day -day problems of life. Drug addicts indulge in polygamy and sexual intercourse in groups under the influence of marijuana or LSD. Devotees of marijuana call it social drug and are under the theory make love and not wars and hippies share their quota of drugs with the students. Casualties due to drugs are mainly occurring by accidental overdosage of drugs in form of incompatible combinations or high doses of prescribed drugs or other similar reasons. The overdose of the drug commonly occurs accidentally. Intravenous injection carries the highest risk of accidental overdosage and when it occurs, the drug cannot be retrieved. Infections such as hepatitis B, HIV, bacterial abscesses, thrombophilibitis, endocarditis and moniliasis may result from the use of contaminated needles, sharing of needles following other unhygienic practices. For smuggling of the drugs, the individual that is swallowers make small packets of the drugs and swallow them that can later on be recovered from the vomitor or feces. There exists a risk of overdosage with these practices as the packets may burst and get absorbed through the gastrointestinal, vaginal or rectal mucosa. Common agents abused include alcohol, narcotic drugs, barbiturates, tranquilizers and nitrous oxide. Halothane and ketamine are also being increasingly abused. Even topical ocular anesthetics may be abused by hospital personnel.